After severe flooding throughout the week, Pike County officials held a press conference Friday, July 29th to update the public on disaster relief and give an action plan for those affected. Emergency Management Director Nee Jackson spoke on the importance of calling to report damage. If you have damage to your home, please call those two numbers that I mentioned, 432-0210 or 437-4126 to get that information to our folks so that they can get them in the right hands so we can get uh, people out there to make sure uh, that damage assessment's done. Um, for the homeowners, people who are greatly affected by this, take pictures, if you've got pictures of when the flooding occurred, hang on to those videos. The before and after pictures are very, very important from now for the future, whether it be for insurance or any other further assistance in the, in the future. Make sure documentation, save receipts. If you've spent something for um, cleanup, whatever it may be, make sure to keep those receipts because in the future you will need those. It's all in our hands, this life of time that's given to us all. It is all in our hands, it is all in our hands. Experienced heart specialist and subspecialist collaborating for the benefit of your care. Top 10% national hospital rankings for patient safety in heart attack and heart failure treatment. The technology and skill to perform extraordinary complex, minimally invasive cardiac, electrophysiology, interventional and structural heart surgeries. This is the Heart and Vascular Institute at Pikeville Medical Center. It is all in our hands, it is all in our hands. When it comes to your heart, place your care in our hands. It is also highly important those who were not affected by the flooding stay away from the affected areas so utility vehicles can move easily to allow for a quicker restoration of utilities. The county will be dispensing all supplies, beginning today with drinking water, at four distribution centers throughout the county. The centers will be Elkhorn City Fire Department, Shelby Valley Fire Department, Sycamore Fire Department, and Shelby Valley Rescue Squad. As Mr. Jackson said, we're taking a uh all of our bulk items are coming in to the Appalachian Wireless Arena because of loading docks and forklifts and easy and easy for us to unload big trucks. Once we get them unloaded, we are putting them on smaller trucks and, and sending them out to distribution centers as needed. Uh, but like I said, for this first load going out, it's going to be a limited supply of water, so everybody needs to use it sparingly. It'll be for drinking and consumption like that. It's not this initial supply of water is not for cleaning. Um, our, I'll have more information later on our floods or our cleanup supplies. Uh, we're putting an order in for that today. We ordered uh, Red Cross's order some flood, what they call flood buckets. It's got cleaning supplies. It's a bucket, mops, brooms, and different cleaning supplies in the buckets. Uh, they are placing an order for them. I will get a confirmation on those later today. For updates on utility restoration, cleanup efforts, and disaster relief, go to Pike County Emergency Management on Facebook. If you need to report damage, call Pike County Emergency Management at 606-432-0210. For Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.